Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Thank you, David. <laughs> okay. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Happy. I, I can see you're very happy, David. Yeah. yeah. Hi, good night, teacher. This is the attitude. Hey, hello, Valmore. Welcome. You are driving. Valmore, you are driving. Yes. Ah, okay. Tell me when you're home, right? When you come home. Okay, ya voy a llegar a la casa. Okay, tell me, tell me, okay? Very good. And and Mirna, hello, Eva. Jenny Margarita, Miss Maeda. Good, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Uh, yesterday you couldn't connect, right, uh, Jenny? No se pudo conectar ayer, ¿verdad, Jenny? No, tuve problemas con el internet, teacher, oh. y no pude avisar. Oh, sorry. But, but today you are here, right? Aquí está con nosotros, lo importante. Okay? Yes. Very good. So, again, good evening, everybody. Let's start immediately, right? We're going to make a practice before we begin. Oh, sorry, let me see. I need to share the audio. Here we are. Okay, we have this conversation. Listen, please. Page 47, exercise six, conversation. This is a review of there is, there are, right? Listen. There aren't any chairs. Listen and practice. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, now listen again and repeat, please. Page 40. There aren't any chairs. Repeat. Listen and practice. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Again, repeat, please repeat after me. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it. I love it. But I really need some furniture. Furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. Lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. There's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. 
there is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week, next weekend. Okay, look at the structure. We say there are some chairs. Negative, there is an, a table. There is no sofa, right? There is no way to say there isn't, right? And negative, in plural, there aren't any chairs. Notice that any is for negative, right? And it says there's only this lamp. Good, I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. David, okay, thank you, David. And Jenny, please. Uh, David, you're Chris. And Linda, you're, uh, I mean, uh, Jenny, you're Linda, right? Natalie, Bye. you're going to help me with the next, uh, next uh, example, right? Natalie me va a ayudar en la, en la, en la siguiente, okay? So, ready? Uh, David, one, two, three, action. This apartment is great. Jenny? Perdón, ahorita, permiso. Casi no. No me cargo en la imagen. Ahorita. Um, thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. Furniture? 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 What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is a table. And there are no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Nice, thank you very much. Now, Natalie, you're Linda, and Luis, Luis, can you help me, please? You're going to be Chris. Ready? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some for, for ¿cómo es? ¿Cómo Forni <laughs> Furniture. Furniture. <laughs> what do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there are no sofa here in the living room. And there are any chairs, there is only this lab. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Now uh, we're going to continue. Let me see just one, one second here. Okay, now here we have this uh, exercise. Listen, please. Page 47, exercise seven, grammar focus. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. Okay, now we're going to make this exercise. Give me a second here. Reduction, reduction. Here, right? Just give me a second. Okay, here we are, right? So look at the look at the picture here, right? Uh, okay, uh, Daniela, ahorita voy a dejar de compartir un segundo. Y vuelvo a compartir para que le salga la pantalla, Daniela. Ok, dígame si le apareció. Yes. Yes, ok, very good. Thank you. Let's continue, right? So, uh, look at the picture here, right? Look at the bedroom, the kitchen, the living room, right? And then you're going to tell me there is, there, there are, 
Well, there is no, or there isn't, right? According to what you see in the picture, right? Okay, check it out. Observe very carefully, right? But uh, in the meantime, I will take the attendance. Lo que ustedes observan, eh, welcome, Ingrid. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Just give me a second here. Evening, uh, Ingrid. Okay, good. Now, eh, I will take the attendance, and you please um, take it out the object that we have and that we don't have in the in the house, right? So let's start with the with the attendance. Esta noche no tengo auxiliares, se me han corrido, no sé por qué andarán ahí, Dino y Dudley. Así que voy a estar solito. In the living room. In the living room. Ladder, ladder, ladder room. Maybe they are there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sofía. Sofía. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Uh, Andrea. Andrea Stephanie. Present. Okay, welcome. Daniela. Present, teacher. Eva. Eva. I saw Eva. Por, por ahí vi a Eva. Hello, Eva. Are you there? Uh, hello, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Present. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Eh, tengo aquí a Ingrid, que está de oyente. Ok, la vamos a poner de oyente a Ingrid. Eh, Vanessa. Ok. Jenny. Jenny y Margarita. Present, teacher. Ok, good. Eh, Angie. Angie. Present teacher. Okay, good. Eh, Valmore ya te, te presentó, ¿verdad? Oyente. Okay, eh, David. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Francisco. Francisco, are you there? Tengo otro mensaje por acá. Eh, Lorena, I'm not home, but I'm listening. Ah, okay. Este, Lorena va a estar de listening también. María José, usted está en casita. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, good, thank you. Thank you. Solo su mami no va a poder participar. Muy bien. Thank you, thank you. Eh, Francisco, no, right? Uh, Catherine, Katy. Yes, and teacher. Ok, welcome, Katy. En Kenia. Kenia. I am here, teacher. Okay, good. Lilian, Saraí, Saraí, puede mandar su mensaje si no se escucha, Saraí. Bueno, espero que nos mande el mensaje, Saraí. Ok. Eh, Luis. Luis. Present, present teacher. Good, thank you. Margarita. Margarita, Mirna, present, ok, welcome Mirna, Natalie, present teacher, Oscar Francisco, Oscar Francisco, me parece que envió un mensaje por aquí. Um, bueno. Ok, good. Bueno, espero que se conecte. Eh, Saúl. Present. Vanessa. Present, teacher. Okay. Good, thank you. Now let's let's continue, right? Let's continue. So, tell me, please. 
there's no dresser, right? What about the kitchen? What do you think? There is there are some, okay. There are some. There are some. Mm -hmm. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Let me see. Yes. In fact, there are three chairs in the kitchen. Thank you, Sofia. Okay, I have a message here. Tengo un mensaje por aquí. There are some. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Luis, excelentoso. Nice. Okay, next one. There is. Uh, this is Andrea? No. Who said? Ah, Natalie, Natalie. Okay, thank you, Natalie. Mm -hmm. There is, there is A or an, Natalie? Uh, a. There is a TV, right? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. There is a TV. Thank you. Now, Andrea, please. There is. There is also, right? There mm -hmm. is a refrigerator. What is the most popular place in the house? The refrigerator, right? El lugar más popular de la casa es el refrigerador. Thank you. Now, rugs on the floor. Well, in the Where bedroom, in the bedroom, in the bedroom we, we don't have. I mean, we have, right? But in the living room, no, right? So, Maria Jose, tell me. There's no rugs in, on the floor? There, uh, there is or there are uh, there is. Uh-huh, but look, Maria Jose, it says rugs. Oh, really? Yes, there are. There are. Well, there are rugs on the floor. Si hablamos del bedroom, ¿verdad? Pero si del, del living room, bueno. Entonces, ambas oraciones son correctas. Thank you. Thank you, Maria Jose. Okay. And Daniela, please, which one for you? Curtains on the windows. There are or there aren't? Daniela? There are. There are. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. There is. Uh, okay, I think, do, about, think I about it. I don't see. I don't see. You don't see it. Look, it says curtains. Eh, Perdón, cuando yo abro el chat, ¿les tapo la, el dibujo? No. No, no. Ustedes, ustedes están viendo el dibujo. Ya. Yeah. Yo estoy viendo el chat. <ríe> uh -huh. Ok, que tengo, permítame, solo tengo un mensaje de Francisco y de Oscar. Y, y la respuesta es Sofía también. <ríe> Excelente. No, Sofía, es, ¿cómo es plural? Es plural, curtains. Pero permítame. Solo, solo déjeme contestarle aquí a, a, a Francisco. Realmente un segundito. Francisco y Oscar Francisco. Yes. Solo les voy a contestar. Un segundito. Sorry, sorry. Juan Francisco. Ok. Y Oscar Francisco. Very good. Ya está, ya está la asistencia. Solo déjeme ver un segundito aquí. Juan Francisco. Y Oscar Francisco, ya les tomé la asistencia. No, thank you. No, hoy sí. Perdone que estoy aquí entre mensaje y ejercicio. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, curtains. Look at the windows. Do we have curtains, yes or no? no. Daniel. Daniel. Ajá, uh -huh. David. Yes, you're right. Right? No, right? So no, no. curtains. So it's negative, right? Daniela? Yeah. Thank you, David. Eh, Daniela, what do you think? Uh, there is not. There isn't or there aren't, because it's plural, curtains. Um, o sea, yo le dije there are. Okay, but it's negative, right? Because mm -hmm. no, there no, no, there are no, very good, yes. Oh, contraction, Daniela, there aren't. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Very good, thank you. There are any curtains on the wheel, right? You can see the picture? Mm -mm, no curtains, right? Okay, now mirror. This is going to be Eva, please. Eva. There is or there isn't? There is. There is. There is a mirror, right? Espejito, espejito, right? Okay. Los hombres solo lo usamos para peinarnos. Las mujeres lo usan el 90% del tiempo. <laughs> no, son mentiras, el 85%. Okay, now, uh, books in the bookcase. Hmm? Books in the bookcase. Eh, Ingrid, no sé si puedes participar, Ingrid. Nos manda un mensaje, si no, Vanessa. Vanessa, please. There are books in the bookcase. There are. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Books. Uh, I know, but look at this. Puede ver los libros. Ah, okay. There, there are not. There are no, right? Or you can mm -hmm. say, listen, there are no books. Oh, there, there are, are not. Mm -hmm. There are no books. Okay, guys. Okay. Any question? Creo que queda super claro el uso del there is. There are, right? Yeah. Okay. Only practice. 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 More practice. We're going to practice more. Yes. Let's continue. Tenemos que que cubrir otro tema también, así es que solo vamos a, a practicar aquí la pronunciación. Miren, eh, para la letra TH tengo dos sonidos. Este símbolo que está aquí arriba, que es como un cerito y un, una crucita así acostada. ¿Suena como Z? No, suena como D, D, como la D en español. D. Ah, oclusiva. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, está esta, miren. Father. La palabra father lleva TH, miren. Lo voy a poner en mayúscula para que lo vean. Father. Esta TH suena como the, the, the. ¿Ok? Y tengo la palabra thank you. Thank you. O oh, thanks, if you want to say right. Thank. Eh, en este caso, la TH suena como th, th, Como th, th, th. Es falicativa. Precativa, correcto. Solo se deja salir el aire entre los dientes y la lengua y se saca un poquito la lengua. Eh, pero no mucho. Sí. Es <ríe> fricativo, que sea que roce. Oh, that's it, right? Y da, da. Escuchemos el, el audio para que, yeah. para que lo, lo... Page 48, exercise 9, pronunciation. Words with TH. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of th and th. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms. Okay, so look at this. And this is the, the, the. There, 13. This, the, the. Bueno, aprovechando que si esto fuera vocal, dijera di, di. Pero con los consonantes dice the, 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 the. Ok. Sorry. Permítame que hay un micrófono por ahí. Ok. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's continue. So, three. Bath. 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 Bathroom. Entonces, barroom. Barroom. No. Bathroom. Ok. Estos sonidos son exclusivos de inglés, ¿verdad? Así es que siempre hay que practicar. Especialmente cuando digan thank you, nunca me digan thank, thank you, no, no, thank you, no, thank you. Ni tampoco digan happy birthday, no. happy birth, <laughs> birthday, right? Okay, very good, let's continue, right? Now we're going to make an exercise, vamos a hacer un ejercicio de listening y vamos ya a la clase normal. Listen, please. Uh, Chris and Linda are checking some furniture, right? So I need, we check together, vamos a chequear juntos eh, los artículos que, 
¿Qué le gustan? A, a Linda, ¿verdad? Ok, give me a second. Solo borro por acá. Ahí estamos. Ok, listen, please. Page 48, exercise 10, listening. Furniture is expensive. Listen to Chris and Linda talk in a furniture store. What does Linda like? Check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? No, I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now, from my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look. You know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Um, it's a little boring. Oh, wait a minute. That coffee table is great. Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. So, let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. Okay. What things uh, does Linda like? Uh, that's okay for you, or you want to listen again? It's okay? Good. So tell me, please. Tell me yes or no, right? Armchairs, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bookcase? Yes. Yes. Mm, okay. No, 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 sir, Rick. No, 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 no maybe, sir, Rick. maybe oh, yeah. listen, 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 listen. Check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah. They're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? No, I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now, from my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look. You know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Um, it's a little boring. Oh, Wait a minute. That coffee table is great. Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. So, let's see. I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. Case? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think? Bookcase, yes or no? No. No. Right. No, right? A sofa? Uh, yes. No. no, no. She say that no. the color the sofa is don't like it for here. And she also has one right from her parents. Yeah. Yes, yeah. in the so same color. The same yeah. color. So she she doesn't like it. Good. A mirror. A mirror. Mm. No. Oh yes. Oh. No, okay, no. good. A rug? Yes. No. 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 It was boring. No. It was, look. Oh, boring. Yes. 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 Okay, coffee table? Yes. 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 Lamps? Yes. Yes. No. No. Mm, no, no, sir. Listen. So, Go. let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I have a coffee table. What else? 
I don't need any lamps. Uh -huh. Okay, no. Lamps? No, right? Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. So, curtains? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay, yes. okay. Okay. I'm giving click, right? Yo dándole click y no le he puesto el... Okay, give me a second. I'm here, right? Oh, I see. Curtain, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Now we're going to start with the platform. Don't waste the time. Vamos a irnos rapidito. Okay, here we are, right? Uh, we're going to start with unit number three. Ya comenzamos ahorita la unidad tres. Eh, recuérdense que uh, desde ayer ya tenían que haber terminado la plataforma, la unidad, la sección uno y dos, ¿verdad? Y hoy com comenzamos con la sección tres en adelante. Si no yes. la han completado, por favorcito, miren al teacher, please, terminanla ahora en la noche, por favor. ¿Ok? La sección 1 y 2 ya debe estar completa, con el 100%. No me vengan con It's 80%. Finish. <ríe> no me vengan con 80%. Quiero el 100%. No, 80% okay. es la nota mínima, pero ustedes ahí pueden seguir intentando hasta sacar el 100%. ¿okay? Entonces vamos a comenzar con el eh, 3.1. The objective for tonight is uh, learn vocabulary for common jobs, trabajo común, right? And uh, we're going to to describe what 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 do they do, what people do. For example, what a police does, what a, a waitress does, what a, a clerk sure. does, etc. Et yes. Any question? Three yeah. point zero or three or three that zero. Three zero. point zero. Well, normally they say three point. Point that. Well, yeah, that is uh, another way to say, but it's more common point in this case when we're talking about numbers, right? Oh, okay. We're talking about numbers in this case, yes, it's more common. I mean, it's correct, but you know, it's more. Oh, common. okay. Good. Uh, um, Andrea tuvo un problemita con el ejercicio uno punto diez. Eh, vamos a revisarlo, vamos a disculpar, porque me abrimos la plataforma, la verdad, si es que vamos a 1.10, me dice Andrea. Vamos a ver. Entonces, que vamos a regresarnos, porque tiene que estar todo completo. Veamos, 1.10, dice este. Ok, ya lo estamos abriendo. Opening, opening, opening. Aquí está. Ah, es el famoso ejercicio de completar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, aquí tenemos los dos tipos de preguntas, este, Andrea. Tenemos eh, las preguntas de WH y las preguntas de Yes, No. Entonces, bueno. Le voy a dar un ejemplo aquí. What time do you eh, cook lunch? Ok, eh, le pongo cook para no darle la respuesta, ¿verdad? Pero ahí aparece otro verbo para que lo vea. Entonces la estructura es, mire Andrea, what time ¿Sí? Luego tengo el auxiliar do o das, dependiendo del sujeto. Luego tengo el, el sujeto, en este caso es you. Y por último tengo el verbo, cook. Son cuatro partes, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Eh, y el símbolo de interrogación al final, ¿ok? En el otro caso, tengo una pregunta de, de sí y no, mire. Y comienzo siempre con mayúscula. Does this class uh, finish? Yo le voy a poner finish. Es otro el verbo ahí, pero para que ustedes vean la estructura. Does this class finish at 8 o'clock? Y el símbolo de pregunta. Entonces, eh, mire Andrea, 
son dos tipos de estructura. ¿ve? En esta usamos el auxiliar, das o do, dependiendo del sujeto. En este caso, this class, como this class es singular, decimos das. Luego el verbo, no es el verbo que va a usar. Hay otro verbo por ahí, no le voy a decir cuál, ¿verdad? Porque entonces le estaría dando la respuesta. Pero después del sujeto viene el verbo, ¿ve? Y después el complemento, terminando con el símbolo de interrogación, ¿ok? Y aquí usted vaya viendo, mire, si aparece un Wende, entonces va a usar la estructura que le pusimos aquí. ¿ve? Si usted no ve ningún da, eh, when, perdón, o what, o lo que sea, entonces va a usar el auxiliar, ¿ves? ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Entonces la 4 es igualita a la 1, la estructura, ¿verdad? Y la 5 es igualita a la... ¿A cuál? A la 3, ¿verdad? No, no, perdón, voy, voy a rectificar. La 4 la es igual a la 2. Y la 5 es igual a la 3. Así sería, ¿verdad? La 2 y la 4 son de información. Y la 3 y la 5 son de, de yes, no, ¿ok? Muy bien. What time... Ah, y aquí me está dando la respuesta Andrea, ¿verdad? Vaya, usted póngalo así, Andrea, pero no se le olvide el símbolo de interrogación. Oiga, por favor. Pero no voy a poner cook, porque yo lo estoy poniendo cook solo de ejemplo. ¿verdad? Igual aquí, mire, finish. No voy a poner finish, sino que es otro el verbo, ¿verdad? Porque si le doy, le doy la respuesta, me cuelgan mis jefes. <risa> ok. Bueno, sigamos entonces. Vámonos otra vez a la, a la unidad, a la sección 3. Y vamos a hablar de jobs, occupation, professions. ¿Ok? Now, watch. Quiero ver si hay comentarios. Oh, my God. Algún día me van a hacer feliz y me van a poner un comentario ahí. ¿Ok? Now, please, listen and watch. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. 1. He's a receptionist. 2. She's a doctor. 3. She's a nurse. 4. He's a pilot. 5. She's a flight attendant. 6. He's a musician. 7. She's a singer. 8. She's a judge. 9. He's a police officer. 10. He's a lawyer. 11. He's a cook. He's a chef. 12. He's a waiter. 13. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night writes tickets. Now we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a 
store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this okay, class, you're um, learning. Sorry. Excuse Five, me. Five, seven. Additionally, give me a second here. Okay, guys, this is a good opportunity to um, add some pop, right? Aquí tiene una buena oportunidad para poner comentario, no? Okay. Uh, here we have the examples. A doctor. And also, uh, it says um, a cashier, right? A doctor and a cashier. Uh -huh. So uh, we're talking about activities and, and places. Activities and places, right? So now uh, we can make other other examples with with other occupation. For example, judge, lawyer, uh, security guard, waiter, uh, nurse, pilot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can make examples. Okay, good. Now um, we have uh, the the knowledge check here, right? Just going to see the example, right? Here we have the doctor, the nurse, and the receptionist. So he said, what's his job? He is a receptionist. What's her job? She's a doctor. Uh, what's her job? She's a nurse, right? Notice that when, when we talk about a man, right? This is a man, we say his. Or when we talk about a woman, we say her, her job, right? So that's the same you're going to make here, right? You are going to write what's his job. He is a, don't say it, right? She is a, and then you say this, right? Good. Let's say, and uh, of course here you're going to, um, well, we have only three right here. We have two. And then uh, number six is just one, right? A single, right? No, 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 no. Good. And, oh, no, wait a minute. We have two, right? Sorry. Musician and singer. Sorry. We have two. Judge and liar. Ah, no, liar, no. Liar is mentiroso. I mean, a lawyer. Excuse me. Okay. No hay ningún abogado en el grupo. Si no, ya me metí el lío. Police officer. Yes, I am. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> and it's very common that the people say the two words is the same. No, no, but, but yeah, lawyer and liar, right? <laughs> but no, no, no. <clears throat> listen, listen. When you need a good job, si tienes que ir con el régimen de excepción, ahí Kenia les puede ayudar, okay? <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue, right? So the same here. Look, it's very long, right? 16. 16 items. Oops, it's very long. It's un poco largo este ejercicio, pero está fácil, creo, right? But notice something is very special. Look, they use dot, right? Look, here's David, we can say dot. Eh? Hay un punto y final aquí, ¿sí? Así que no se les vaya a olvidar. Y poner mayúscula también, ¿sí? Además de usar contracciones. ¿Ok? For example, voy a escribir uno aquí, miren. Dice, what's his job? Uh, eh, voy a pretender que no escuché, no sé, no tengo malo el, el audífono ahorita, no escuché la respuesta. Pilot. No, 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 no escucho, no escucho la respuesta. <risa> no escucho. Este, pues bueno, le puedo preguntar a la, a, la, a, la, a la abogada a ver si es cierto, no, si no, 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 un tema legal no, aquí. No sé, tampoco. <risa> Ella no sabe, Kenia no sabe tampoco. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces yo solo le voy a poner el ejemplo aquí. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry. She is... Ah, también no se le va a olvidar que aquí no es tilde, ¿sí? Este es apóstrofe. En mi tablero, por ejemplo, después del cero aparece el apóstrofe, ¿sí? Ya. Yeah. Abajo tablero, el signo de interrogación. Ah, va. Ya escucharon a ellos, ¿verdad? Así que no van a poner una tilde, porque si no les va a salir mal. She is... Ah, uh, no. He is, vamos a hablar de él. He, he is... A pupusero, right? 
And then you put the dot, right? Ponen el punto al final. Miren, él es un pupusero, right? No me vean así, es una ocupación. Aquí en El Salvador es una ocupación, ¿sí? Entonces me va a poner el apóstrofe y el punto final, ¿sí? Obviamente este señor no es pupusero, no tiene cara de pupusero, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, y no sé cuál será la respuesta, no sé, ¿verdad? Pero ahí ustedes van a ver. ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Entonces vamos a ver este ejercicio y ahí terminamos. Okay, listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV, even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, Sorry for the interruption. Look, this is a good point. Look, eh, mi consejo es eh, vean películas en inglés, eh, escuchen canciones en inglés. Sí. Es más, los jueves les envío yo canciones para que ustedes las practiquen. Este jueves les voy a enviar más, ¿verdad? Hoy les envío un video de, de gramática. ¿Verdad? Espero que lo hayan visto. Ya. Yeah. Eh, eh, sí, y luego eh, algo que dice acá este, en el video es que cuando uno está viendo una película a veces no entiende, a pesar de que uno le ponga el subtítulo en inglés, pero uno no entiende porque dicen, where do you work, where do you work, huh? where do you work, where do you work, y uno ve abajo, where do you work, o sea que uno va en velocidad así, pero cuando ellos hablan, van en velocidad mil, ¿verdad? Por eso es que eh, a veces no entendemos. Porque esto incluso, es lo que se llama... Ajá, hay pronunciaciones, incluso hay pronunciaciones en, dentro del mismo Estados Unidos, o sea, que, que se dicen de manera diferente o sea, las, las cosas. Er, incluso, en el, incluso en Estados Unidos, me cuenta mi hermano que hay subtítulos para poder ver la, la, la misma película en inglés. O sea, esto es complicado. Miren, por uh -huh. ejemplo, si, si vamos a San Miguel, por ejemplo, ¿verdad?, uh, a los guacales les dicen paila, creo, no estoy seguro. Yeah. Y en, en Santa Ana, a los jacks les dicen chintas. Y a, los, a las charamucas les dicen topollillos. En fin, entonces, aquí mismo, un país tan chiquitito, tenemos diferente forma de, de pronunciar. Las chengas. Las la chengas. <ríe> y el ceseo eh, y el <ríe> en San Miguel, ¿verdad? Cuando yeah. verdad. Y es por la herencia la que nos dejaron los... La aspiración de la J, dice. Sí, este... ¿qué <risa> <pueblo era? risa> esto, esto es, aunque no lo crean, orgullo de la, del lado de San Miguel, los lencas. Los lencas yeah. tenían ese sonido. Es un sonido natural de los lencas que se conserva hasta la fecha, aunque las demás partes nos burlemos, ¿verdad? La parte del centro y, y del, del occidente nos burlemos, pero es un, es un sonido heredado de nuestro antepasado, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo sucede en Estados Unidos. Tan grandote que es Estados Unidos gigantesco, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no va a ser diferente? Pero en general, esto se llama linking sound. Miren, de, 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 do you, de, de. Bueno, vamos a ver el video. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. Linking. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work. As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of doing does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? 
where do they work where do they work what do you do what do you do what does he do what does he do what do they do what do they do now I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English okay uh, this is a good recommendation again right if you want to watch movies in English you want to ver películas en inglés póngale el subtítulo en inglés no en español subtítulo en inglés entonces ahí van a ver ¿verdad? Eh, también hace bueno no sé si les he enviado ese video no estoy seguro pero quizás se lo voy a volver a enviar hay un video fantástico como de dos horas y media uh, que es para nivel básico en donde eh, se pronuncia usted lo escucha dos veces usted lo pronuncia y al final les da cómo se escribe y les pone eh, este sonido por ejemplo aquí les voy a poner un ejemplo aquí um, no lo voy a poner todo por cuestión de tiempo pero um, eh, cuando aparece entre plecas eh, slash si quiere decir en inglés slash o entre brackets quiere decir que eso es pronunciación entonces eh, la pronunciación para este este sonido es dazi dazi miren do you do you dazi do they do they do they dashi 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 ok y aquí está la pronunciación miren ¿Sí? entonces en ese ejercicio muy bueno que si ustedes lo practican no sé unas dos semanas quizás lo o tres semanas lo podrían practicar eh, completamente, uh, les va a servir muchísimo, ¿sí? Eh, Andrea no está en el grupo tampoco de WhatsApp. Híjole, qué problema. Voy a, voy a anotarla ahorita. Permita. Ya había uh, mencionado a Oscar Francisco. No sé si Oscar ya lo agregaron, pero voy a reportar también a Andrea. Permítame, Andrea. Ok, uh, Andrea Moreno. Y también voy a anotar aquí que le voy a enviar el video de Lice, ¿verdad? Por favor, lo practican. Se lo recomiendo. Les aseguro que si ustedes practican ese video unas dos veces, si quieren, o tres veces, después van a... Se van a sorprender. Sí, se van a sorprender que van a entender mejor este, el inglés. Sí, no una cosa que ya lo entendieron, pero sí como que ese tipo de ejercicios, y hay más, hay un montón de, de ese tipo de ejercicios, ¿verdad? Les va a ayudar muchísimo, ¿sí? Bueno, eh, terminamos aquí esto y solo les voy a enseñar... Um, ah, yo se los envío, Luis. Yo se los envío, no se preocupe. Se llama Listening Basic. Listening Basic. Se llama, yo se los voy a enviar. ¿sí? E, y es para básicos. Es decir, los, son bien bonitos los, las expresiones que aparecen ahí. Muy bien. Les comparto ahora entonces. Eh, permítanme. Les voy a compartir la presentación de PowerPoint. Para esta noche. Okay, job vocabulary and activity, right? December the 6th. Ya dijimos que es um, common jobs, right? Y aquí tenemos un ejercicio. Vamos a hacerlo rapidito porque ya se nos fue el tiempo otra vez. Okay, eh, voy a preguntar al azar, el que quiera ayudarme. So, English teacher, right? Fitness? Instructor. Instructor, very good, nice. Qué bien, están listos. Fitness instructor. Ok. Uh, flight. Attendant. Flight attendant. Very good. Algo así como la que atiende en el vuelo, ¿no? Flight attendant. O el que, porque también hay hombres. Flight attendant. Good. Newspaper. Newspaper what? Periodista. I know, I know, but, but uh, newspaper, 
attendant, designer, reporter. 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 Very good. Reporter. Ok, perdón que me pasó algo aquí. Ok, very good. Permítame, hay un sonido por acá, perdón, voy a cerrarlo. Y seguimos acá escribiendo. Ok, uh, tour. You. Tour. You, teacher. Yo no sé cómo se pronuncia. Guide. 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 Thank you. Tour guide. And finally, website. Designer. Web, website designer. Very good. Thank you. Now, repeat after me, please. English teacher. Fitness instructor. Flight attendant. Newspaper reporter, tour guide, website designer. Okay, let's continue with the next exercise. Good. Talking about jobs, we, we can use a for uh, occupations that start with consonant. For example, we say a carpenter, right? A good carpenter, including the, the adjective, consonant, consonant. But when the when the word, or in this case, the occupation start with a vowel, so we say an, an accountant, right? An expensive accountant, look. Good, but when we use plural, right? Don't say a carpenters, a carpenters. <laughs> no, no, it's carpenter because it's plural, right? Accountant. Supreme. Yeah, we don't use A because I is for singular, right? Okay. okay. Let's just start. Help me, please. I'm a architect or an architect? An. An architect. Very good. And because the word, the next word start with a vowel, right? Student. She's? I. A student. Very good. He's not a, a banker. Musician. Ah. Uh, uh, thank you. Singer. Ah. Uh, Athlete. Um. And. And, right? Okay, very good. Nice. Now let's go to the next one. Good. So here we have simple. Uh, Description of occupation, right? Remember, with the we we talk about occupation, we have to use the verb to be in the common form, right? Let me see. He, he are or he is. He is. He is a teacher, right? She, is. Is. I, am. Um, Very good. Am. Okay. Good. And Mary, are. Mary are. Mm. Is. Is. is right, Mary is good. Here we can. Para ver si equivocado. No, 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 no. Yo sé, David. Yo lo sé. Que usted quería <laughs> dar el ejemplo para que lo corrigiera. Ya, <laughs> ya. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. And here we can use contraction. We can say Mary or Maris. Mary is yeah. or Mary is a musician, right? Okay. And uh, here we have uh, for plural, right? For plural, now we say we use the verb to be uh, are, right? So we say their chef, they are chef, right? Okay. You're not photographers, you are not photographers. You are an artist, you are not artists. Okay. And Jen and Claire are, are not manager, right? So if we have the option of, of saying uh, uh, contractions or no contraction, right? Right. Okay, good. Any extra question, Clans? Extra questions? No. No, eh, solo voy a pasar el listado nuevamente para los que no, no me dijeron presente. Eh, 
Lilian Saray, Mirna Yanet. Bueno, los demás todos tienen presente. ¿Alguna? Presente. Ah, no, Mirna, me dijo Mirna. Casi le ponía la, la falta, mira. Pero cuando preguntó también le contesté. De verdad, pues, ah, pues perdón, yo me equivoqué entonces, Mirna. Sorry. Salud. Excuse me, Mirna. Sí, sí, es que quizá me había confundido con Jenny. Es que yo le vi Janet en la pantalla, entonces dije, Jenny. Perdón, sí. perdón, por este y por otras más. <risa> <Okay>. <risa> perdón, entonces, miren, hoy, te, hoy tuvimos casa llena, ¿verdad? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Any any question before we finish? No. Okay. So see you tomorrow. God bless you. See you. One nice. Good night. 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 Good night.